Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Bob Barber here, End Time Dream and Vision, the channel that's dedicated to the watch of dreams and visions and how they point to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Welcome back everybody to End Time Dream and Vision. Before we get started, if you need a Bible, email us and say I need a Bible to support at feedmysheeptoday.org and we'll send you out a free Bible, free shipping anywhere on earth just for you. And folks, if you love watching dreams and visions dealing with the rapture, resurrection, the upcoming tribulation period, and much, much more, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any new content that we have coming out. Folks, today we're going to be talking about some rapture dreams. This first one here is from Ranel. Ranel goes on to say here, I had a rapture dream several months ago, and I put it in quotes because my dream is different from other reported rapture dreams. I was worried for a while that because I didn't have a rapture dream like everyone else, it was like the Lord was saying, I had something different for you. While I was dreaming, I'm in the desert and there are no other people with me. I was sitting down inside what I believed to be a school bus. I was leaning out the window staring at the sky. I started to cry suddenly and I saw a small bright light high in the sky. My first thought was to say, Jesus, as the light came closer to the ground. It became brighter and brighter. I climbed through the bus window and landed on the sand. I stood up and Jesus was right in front of me. I couldn't make out his face, but he was wearing a coat of many colors like Joseph. I remember crying the same way I wept when I gave birth to my daughter, Macy. Then suddenly, she appeared in my arms and all I wanted to do was hand her to him. He takes Macy, kisses her, and hands her back to me. He points off in the distance and I can see the gates open. And then a large crowd of people started to form behind me. And I looked behind me and I could see my dad, Ernest, waving at me. I also saw him walking with a woman. I lost my mom when I was 11 years old. I looked towards the gate and I followed the crowd behind Jesus. I'm not sure what the Lord was telling me here. I don't want to rely on my own interpretation. Thank you for hearing my dream. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Renell. Well, Renell, what you're looking at here is a family reunion. Okay? A family reunion at the rapture resurrection where the Bible says, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, He shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of an archangel, the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we who are alive and remain shall be called up to meet them in the air. Okay? There's your family reunion. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Think about this, folks. Think about how many generations back was the beginning of the body of Christ, okay? A thousand generations, be it as it may. Think about that. And these, of course, are those who got saved, all right? So think about when the rapture resurrection takes place and we meet up all the loved ones in the air, and you can go back and meet every single person in your lineage your grandfather, your great-grandfather, grandmother, great-grandmother, great-great-great-great-great-great-great, all the way down the line. I thought about that, and I can't wait. I am so interested in hearing about their lives and what they did. And we'll have an eternity to enjoy each other's families, okay? So here in his dream, she starts off in a bus. There's a school bus out in the middle of the desert, all right? Now, a bus, of course, represents education. All right, rightly dividing the word of God. 2 Timothy 2.15, group education, corporate education for the body of Christ, okay? And then she goes into talking about, she saw this light come down from the sky, which represents Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. She began to cry, and she knew it was Jesus. And then she climbed out of the bus, and Jesus was standing right there in front of her face to face. And then her daughter appeared in her hand. Once again, the lineage, all right? And then she handed her daughter, Macy, off to Jesus. And Jesus kissed her and then gave her back 
to Renell. And interesting how that's all going to work out. You know, the children will be taken up in the rapture, all children that have not reached the age of accountability yet. All right, our Apostle Paul talks about he spiritually dies when the commandment revived, spiritually died. All right, and he was a child and he reached the age of accountability, sin revived, and he died. All right, that's in Romans 7 9. So all children are taken in the rapture resurrection. I don't care what you say. I could prove it over and over and over again according to the word. All right. So shut the hole that makes the words. <laughs> so it's interesting to think how our children will be communicating with us, will be connected with us after the rapture resurrection event because I don't believe the children will go from being five years old to 33 years old. I believe they're gonna be a glorified five-year-old, a glorified 10-year-old, 15-year-old, 16-year-old, okay, glorified at the age that they're at, and they will continue and mature around 33 years of age. Okay, and I say that because our spirit, all right, a baby spirit, a baby spirit when it's born, it's not a 33 year old mature spirit within that baby. It's a baby spirit, it's a baby spirit. And that baby grows in stature and learns, okay? Even the Bible says that Jesus grew in knowledge, wisdom, and stature, okay? So as a spirit grows, the vessel grows with it, it expands. As the spirit expands, the body expands. You remove the spirit, this physical vessel, this physical body dies. Whether the child dies at one, five, 45, 90, or even just a few weeks old within the womb while the child's developing. You remove the spirit, the vessel dies, and of course that will be a miscarriage for the mother, okay, or a stillbirth. The vessel died, the child didn't die. The child lives forever, we are eternal beings. Of course, are you gonna be in eternity with Jesus or in eternity in hell? Children, of course, all go to heaven, all right? This next year I'm gonna get into is from Beverly. Beverly says, I wanted to share my recent rapture dream that I had on July 1st, 2023. This was quite intense. I was either in a house or in a building when there was a violent earthquake followed by a volcanic eruption. Suddenly, I was outside and I saw the lava all around me and I remember having to jump over it to prevent myself from stepping in the lava. I heard something and looked up to the sky and then saw what looked like rockets heading east. Then I saw rockets heading west. I knew that we were under attack just as I saw the rockets, I heard the trumpets. They were very loud. Just as the explosion happened, I think we were raptured. I did not hear the explosion. Suddenly, I went up in the sky so fast, like a blink, and I was gone that quick. End of the dream. Thank you for sharing this dream, Beverly. So awesome dream here. So what were we looking at here? First of all, she was surrounded by lava. I believe this will have something to do with the Yellowstone National Park super volcano erupting, okay? And also the fact that the earth will be splitting open. You know, when we have this massive earthquake that takes place at the rapture, and this earthquake is going to be the resurrection because these people have to come from the ground. These people will be changed in their graves. I believe they're changed in their graves and they come out. Okay, however that works, all right? Be it as it may, I believe the resurrection will actually be this gigantic earthquake that's gonna just knock out all the power everywhere, all right? And also begin to split the earth open and everything. Can it be that the rapture resurrection sets off the Yellowstone National Park super volcano, New Madrid Fault, San Andreas Fault, and all the other fault lines throughout the earth, and other volcanoes everywhere, okay? interesting and another thing too beverly she saw lava in her dream now it doesn't mean that you're going to see lava because we have so many different rapture dreams here we are all over the globe okay somebody who's out in the middle of the desert like the previous dream is not going to see lava more than likely okay they're not going to see lava all right but somebody who lives in hawaii might or somebody who lives on an island where there's a volcano 
that could be compromised at the rapture resurrection, they might, or someone living near the Yellowstone National Park, okay? I don't believe everybody's going to see lava, all right? Because some people are on top of high mountains, some people are inside buildings, some people are within, you know, walking throughout a city, some people are in their backyard, some people are driving down a road. They're all, we're all over the place, okay? So wherever Beverly is, or people like her, this is what they might see, lava, all right? And then she goes on to say after she saw the lava, she heard the trumpets in the sky, and then she saw rockets flying overhead, rockets heading west and rockets heading east. What does that represent? My guess, that's gonna be the nuclear war between the United States and Russia. Our rockets are gonna fly east, their rockets are gonna be flying west, all right? So this also representation of when the bombs come down, we go up, all right? I've seen that enough in my dreams too and a whole bunch of dreams here, all right? And this one right here, for example. And she says, I knew we were under attack. And just as I saw the rockets, I heard the sky trumpets. They're very loud. Just as the explosion happened, I was raptured. Boom, there it is again. Okay, so the rapture resurrection taking place in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the nuclear war. And I also mentioned this before that a moment in the Greek is atomo, atomic bomb, a momentary destruction. Okay, so we have the narrative a picture of mass destruction globally with nuclear weapons that takes place in a moment, with its root word being a moment, atomic, atomic bomb. And then we have our departure at the rapture resurrection in the moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, according to 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 53. Okay, so do the math. So great dream here. Now folks, before we go any further, please check out what we are doing to make a difference in God's kingdom before we go home by supporting Christian missions overseas and now even here in the United States. Please check out this quick video and I'll be right back after this quick clip. Saints, it looks like 2030 may just be the year of Jesus' return to the earth according to the information, the data that's coming out right now. And if Jesus is returning in 2030, then subtract seven years from the tribulation, that puts us right here at the beginning of a new seven year Shemitah cycle, by the way, in 2023. And it's no surprise that in 2030, there is going to be the war of Armageddon because Satan and his armies are getting ready for that time by causing everybody on earth to eventually take the mark of the beast. We are seeing all of our financial systems going in that direction all of our rights taken away, all this to bring in the mark of the beast so they can change human beings to be more like the fallen angels in the Nephilim. Thus building his army and gathering them all together to fight Jesus and his armies of heaven coming in the clouds to meet them at the Valley of Jehoshaphat at the Battle of Armageddon. Now, I tell you all this because the seven year tribulation is about to begin. That means the rapture resurrection is about to take place and we will be out here and our work, everything that we have done to build the body of Christ will be complete, pencils down, test is over, and now it's time for you to stand alone before the judgment seat of Christ to see how well you scored. And your score is not based on how much wealth you build on the earth. That will all be deleted and forgotten. But instead, your score is based on how much work is done in God's kingdom to build the body of Christ. And if this concerns you right now, then let me introduce you to Feed My Sheep today. We have been conducting Christian missions globally for over a decade. And we have built a very extensive worldwide network of missionaries, teachers and evangelists, pastors and people assisting them that are moving about all over their countries from one location to the next. They are preaching the gospel of grace and leading new believers into the body of Christ. And they are providing them free Bibles, humanitarian relief aid as they continue to preach this gospel of grace throughout third world countries. As you can tell, 
Everything is in place. You don't have to do a single thing except provide the seed. And thanks to your help, we have been leading 10 to 15,000 people on average every week to the salvation of Jesus Christ for over a decade. That is a lot of gold, silver, and precious stones. And outside of the rewards and everything, we really need your help. You are so greatly needed right now. Your impact is so greatly needed right now. So please, just take a couple minutes right now, pause the video, and go to our website, feedmysheeptoday.org. The link is below. There you can give by PayPal, credit card, bank draft, or just send your gift in the mail. Do you want to make a big impact right now but can't afford to do so? I got a simple answer for you. Just become a monthly sustainer. We greatly need more monthly sustainers. And the great benefit about this position is you can set it and forget it. Now this whole thing is working on your behalf and you can focus on other things in the kingdom. Your seed will automatically be invested into God's kingdom on a monthly basis. How many new believers can you say that you were responsible for for leading to the Lord last year and giving a free Bible to? How would you like to be responsible for 36 new salvations this year and also give them a free Bible? Well, you can do that with simply $10 a month. So that's there for you. Please consider joining our Easy Feed Monthly Sustainer family. We would be so happy to welcome you in. So friends, all the links are in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today. It's also our backup channel, by the way. There you'll be able to keep track of your investment in this great work. Thank you all so much for your much needed support. May God bless you all. Folks, thank you so much for your much, much needed ongoing support to Feed My Sheep today. And folks, we are being pounded right now with Bible requests, food, medical aid, humanitarian relief aid and everything. A lot of requests are coming in now and we can't seem to keep up anymore. So please, if God puts it in your heart to make a difference right now, we can really, really use your help now as we're heading into the Passover season. We don't have much time left, guys. We can't take this money with us, but the Lord gives it to us so that way we can use it to build his kingdom, to be the wise servant that takes that money that the Lord gives us and invest it into his kingdom. And the best way to invest it is not to put money towards a building and repaving a parking lot, the best way to invest it is to put money into a ministry that's on the cutting edge of adding members to the body of Christ. Here at Feed My Sheep today, our average amount of salvations of people coming into the body of Christ is around 70 new salvations per hour globally. The average church in America saw an average of six salvations, six brand new salvations last year. But be it as it may, here at Feed My Sheep today, we're not a church. Okay, we're an organization that supports Christian missions. And what's being done here with your money coming in is 70 new salvations per hour. Per hour. Okay? Which means within 10 hours, that's 700 new salvations. 1,600 salvations per day. Do you want to be a part of that? I know I do. I support Feed My Sheep Today as well. I give to Feed My Sheep Today as well. And I hope you do too. So the links are in the description box below. Thank you all so, so much for your much needed ongoing support. And let's do one more here from Teresa. She said, this is very short. I don't know where I was standing in the dream, but I seem to be alone in a relatively open area. Things around me began to get hazy, cloudy, and out of focus. And I suddenly felt light. My arms began rising up first and then I felt the lifting sensation pull my entire body off the ground. It was a peaceful feeling and I knew the rapture was happening. So awesome dream there. Thank you so much for sharing that, Teresa. These short dreams are awesome. I can just get in there, read them real fast. You know, if you people send me these big, huge dreams that take 10 minutes to read, I'll never read them here. By the way, if you want your dream or vision read here, Post it at edvforme.org. It's our website. Plus, that is where our final destination will be. 
in the event we're taking off this platform and all platforms because I do post all of our videos over there as well. So go over there, check it out, edvforme.org. That's there for you. So folks, what do you guys think about these dreams? Please comment, let us know. And don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot more incredible content coming out. The rapture resurrection is upon us, folks. Can't wait to meet all of you in the air. It's going to be absolutely incredible when you hear that trumpet. Amen? Amen. So may God bless you all and hang in there, for we are almost finished. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, censorship is ramping up. If for any reason we lose this channel here, you need to know where to find us. It's on our website, edvforme.org. This is a completely free site. Here you can watch all of our videos that we put on YouTube. Are you looking for dreams and visions about the rapture and other end time events? Do you have dreams and visions that you need interpretations to or do you just want the whole world to be informed about what you saw? Here you will find the only worldwide message form on the internet dedicated to dreams and visions of the end times. Here you can post unlimited dreams and visions, have access to thousands of dreams and visions from believers all over the world, including everything from our database that we have not posted on YouTube or our website yet. Read them before we even talk about them. Get a heads up. Check this out. Are you looking for one certain type of dream? All the dreams and visions here will be separated into categories for easy access. And yes, we are always adding more categories. If you can't find yours, let us know and we'll put it in. Click on the link below now. Go to the website and enter in your email at the bottom of the site to receive updates and notifications. It's a very user-friendly site to use, so don't waste any time. Get over there, get registered. That way, we can stay connected to you and also save it in your favorites or whatever on your device.